course, this decider. It's been the match of the tournament, and it's all on this frame. Important to get a good break off. And that's good. Karen Wilson has potted one ball in the last three frames. That was in frame five. It's not actually that long since he potted a ball. That's not that long. It's just those Sullivan play so quickly. But it was frame five. Then, of course, he missed that pink to let O'Sullivan in. Yeah, good safety. Karen nodding his head. It's hard to put that cue ball anywhere. Wherever he puts it, he feels that O'Sullivan is going to knock something in. Well, that's pretty good. Well, the double kiss could have been worse. There is a red available to the right corner. Not sure if we can get to a colour from it. And it's a tough pot as well, so... Unless he can just drop it in and be on the black, it's risky. Good pot. <laughs> Wanted that black to bounce a little. Well, what a big shot this is. What a big shot this is. But he could play it in such a way as to block the pocket if he misses it. If it goes in, he'd be on the red. Nicely played. So it's Wilson that gets the first chance. Well, right from the start of the evening, Eight. Karen Wilson has gone for his shots. And it's not like it's been a load of mistakes. This man has been flawless. It's just that, I guess that one miss really on the pink was the glaring error. Well, he had no idea Sorry. what was happening to the cue ball. Just trusted to luck a little. Nothing else he could do, really. The red was so thin. So, end of break. You clap on, please, Karen. Blue ball. My word. Foul. <laughs> Karen Wilson, 10. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 5. It's a misjudgment, that. Yes, it misjudged it by a long way, really. He was playing to it the left side cushion and dropping behind the yellow. <laughs> Choice of reds to play.
Well, you could say that that's a let off. Well, just while we watch that again, I can tell you that the great run of John Higgins has come to an end. He's won the last two events, but he won't be winning this one because on table two, Mark Williams has just beaten him 4-1. A terrific win for Williams. So it won't be O'Sullivan, Higgins in the quarters. It might be neither of them. Higgins has departed. Ronnie O'Sullivan, of course, still has to get this frame. And my word, he wants it. So a mistake from O'Sullivan. How costly is it going to be? Difficult shots these in deciders. Well, it's another great pot though. And he's nicely on the blue. All down to Karen Wilson. Nothing he can do about it now. Just going to sit and hope he gets back to the table. We could argue it's a, Six. a better win to win 4-3 than 4-0 because... 4-0, you could say, well, O'Sullivan didn't produce anything. Well, my word, he certainly produced it last three frames. Seven. Thirteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Just 26. about get to the red, to that left corner. And 
anxious moments. Twenty some. Well, that didn't go according to plan. And if he should take the pink on to the middle, it's well and truly missable. Just 32 points, the difference. Slightly hampered if he takes the yellow on. Could push a colour safe. But this is a chance to win. It's there. What a brave shot to take on, and it could be the winner. Well, it was a pink in frame five that helped turn the match in O'Sullivan's favour. That was a pink that Wilson missed. He didn't miss this one, though. And he's got himself into a very strong position. He leads by 38. Yeah, what a brave shot that was on the pink. It was so tough. 34. Well, I think it's encouraging to see that he hasn't compromised the approach that he had right from the start tonight when he took the game to O'Sullivan. That has been his mindset in the decider as well, despite the way Ronnie O'Sullivan has played to get back to 3 3. Forty. Three centuries from O'Sullivan in a best of seven. And he could yet lose. Forty one. Well, 51 points, the difference. He still needs a couple of reds. And this one isn't a gimmick. Forty-seven. One more red needed after the pink or black. Sullivan can only tie as it stands. 54. Well, he doesn't have to take this red on. He could play the red next to the black and push the black to the cushion. But if it goes in, 55, that's fine. What a feeling he must be feeling. Well, every credit to Karen Wilson. I mean, to beat Ronnie O'Sullivan for a start is an achievement, but after O'Sullivan made three centuries on the spin to force the decider, I mean, a lot of players would have buckled, but Karen Wilson has been fearless, as evidenced by Match 4 Red. Proof once again that this man is a big occasion player. Thank you. 62. And if he carries on like this, Ronnie O'Sullivan knows we could be looking at the winner. John Higgins is out. He's knocked out Ronnie O'Sullivan. 
but seriously impressive, Joe. Great match as well. Oh, 69. One of the best matches I've seen, I've got to say, for lots of different reasons. But he's really gone up in my estimation, Karen Wilson. I knew he was a good player before, but for what he's done tonight, brilliant. Yes, it's been a fantastic match. Karen Wilson played world-class snooker to lead 3-0. Ronnie O'Sullivan threw everything at him. Three centuries on the spin.